Hey guys, just wanted to come back real quick and I don't have all my lights on so I'm a little darker. Might actually be a better look. I kind of like that. It's more natural looking. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. But anyway, uh, top selling jerseys for last season. Kodorowski, Rubio, Hill, our striker up top. Abzalov and Bach, our new striker. So surprise CTOS wasn't in there. I would have thought he would have been the top seller because he was here most of the season, right? All right, well, over just over a million dollars in sales. And, uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, scouting budget coming in. And uh, I have looked at some of my staff so far. Spoiler alert, none of them really want to re-sign with me because they're asking for eighty to 100000 more than my max offer can be. So, yeah, so that's going on. So, uh, anyway, I got to get back to work here and uh, do some business. So, we'll be back here in a minute. <laughs> Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 9, the start of our second season at Union Berlin, and uh, I think it's our second season, yeah, that's right, and uh, we have got a little bit of transfer news before we kick off, uh, so we've moved out four players for $600,000, we have spent $400,000 on one player, but we have brought in a large number of players, so Roberto Garcia, 22-year-old Chilean uh, he is a member of our U19 squad currently. Uh, we paid thirteen and a half thousand for him, and he's been out on loan a couple of times. Uh, slowly developing. Don't know if he'll ever get there, but uh, we will see. If I can get out of here, there we go. All right, so he's out on loan. Christopher Beats, who got a few starts last year, we signed him to a contract extension, and we have sent him out on loan to Darmstadt. Uh, Matthias Gallus, uh, one of our big players last year, we lose him for $600,000. That was his release clause. I did try to offer him a new contract extension because he was valued at 1.2 or 1.4 with us, and he did not want to talk to us. So a little disappointing uh in that but um you can see he's up over a million a year with his new contract i think he was pretty close to that uh so anyway we picked him up on a free so a couple of years before my arrival played pretty well in my first season and we've made a slight profit on him if nothing else uh really you know you hate to lose talented uh players I don't know why I'm getting so much lag in the game right now. Uh, but anyway, and then uh, Jonas Keller, we signed him last year. Uh, he's 28 years old, and, you know, just his technicals aren't the greatest. He was a good option, but you can see he's just 49 rated. So uh, we did pay 140000 for him. Uh, he was making over 500000 this year. So we saw that as an opportunity to cut a half a million dollars in wages. So we've gone ahead and moved him off the books. Now getting into the flip side. So uh, all of these guys come in on freeze or loans. We'll look at the loanees first. Uh, Jose Luis Navarro from Reading uh, comes in. He's an 18-year-old Englishman. Uh, he could play the attacking right wing. He could play right wing in the mid and central mid. And he, he can dabble a little bit on that attacking mid left. And you might be wondering why I'm looking at attacking mids. There's a reason for that. But he's a very well-rounded player. Three and a half star potential. I believe, however, yeah, he's out for about four weeks with a groin strain. So he's missed a little time already but you can see he had an assist in his first match and then got hurt in his second match um, we did need a keeper a reserve keeper our backup keeper last year was in on loan so i was looking for a keeper we made an offer to buy one uh, he ended up going elsewhere uh, for a little bit more money so we got this guy in and then our starting keeper 
got some interest. So we've gone after another keeper just in case. Uh, the guy we're going after plays for Leeds. We had a loan agreement. The loan got canceled because of a potential takeover with Leeds. And um, so uh, Kamara was our fallback option. Uh, so we have signed him. Uh, he comes to us from Sunderland. Not bad looking. I mean, he's he's three-star current. He could maybe challenge for the starting role. We'll see. Uh, and then uh, Jan Urban from Lagaya Wars. Warzawa, something like that. Uh, he is a, a, he's a number 10. He can move up to the number nine. He can play the central mid. Uh, he can also split out to the attacking wingers, maybe drop back into the defensive mid and do the job. He's got nines in marking and tackling, but uh, very, very well-rounded player. And, I, and he's going to probably play a lot. Uh, then our big player is Jean-Pierre Gilly. And he's going to be the one hurt by Urban's arrival, I believe. 400000 from Tours. And he's a 24-year-old Frenchman with bicolored hair. That's interesting. Again, he could play the 10, the central mid, jump out to the attacking wing. So he can play a lot of roles. Decent passing, first touch. Pretty well-rounded. Missing a little bit in some of the physicals. But his mental game is very strong. Two goals in two matches, playing an 8-2. So he's shown well, but Urban just got here, like today. Uh, so Gilly may be the one hurt the most by that. All right, so there's our loan guys. Let's take a look at the guys coming in from last season, of course. Ryan Lepetra Rouye, a Frenchman, valued at $3.6 million. He can play a lot of positions. He can play them well. Four-star current ability on the club I was this is the guy that we signed in the second in the winter transfer last season I wanted to sign him early but they wanted over a million dollars and I couldn't afford it so we waited we bided our time he has finally arrived with bells on and he looks good he looks really good uh, thought he was gonna be our number 10 but you saw we just signed uh, uh, urban down here he's probably gonna in fact, Urban may move into the number 10, which is going to bump LePetre Rouillet out to the left wing, which is going to bump uh, Rubio off uh, back to the bench. So that's, you know, that may be the way we go there. Uh, Philip Olwali, uh, he comes from Bauckham. He's a right, right mid. He can play the right wing. Another guy that we signed last year, youngster with some potential. Uh, so he is probably going to be more of a future player. Uh, Thilo Ludwig from Heidenheim. He comes in on a free uh, left fullback, left mid, attacking left winger. 18 years old. You know, he, if he develops anymore, he may be okay. Decent passing, decent crossing. He's got some pace. So he could do the job, and he probably won't ever be very expensive. Uh, from Frankfurt, we brought in uh, from Eintracht Frankfurt, we brought in two players, Constantine Crotata. Uh, he comes in, attacking winger, uh, pretty solid looking. He'll be depth on the right wing there, 18 years old. And Hakan ha ha Arslan, he, again, he was one of the players we signed last year, knew he wasn't coming in. Uh, he's only 17, so he's going to be with our youth team, uh, but he is a potential first team, uh, first choice keeper down the road. Uh, Nico Schroeder comes in on a free. Uh, he was a free agent. Uh, he was released, and he was one of two players that were released on release day. Uh, we went after both of them. One of the players went elsewhere. We got Nico, and I'm pretty happy. He could play all three midfield plus the uh, attacking right mid uh, and very well-rounded, four-and-a-half-star potential. So that's that's our movement. So, you know, we, we netted a positive gain. We cut out some salary. So that's good. Taking a quick look at the tactics. Um, this is the tactic that we were using at the end of last, the very last game last year. Uh, we played our first two matches, friendlies, with this. We played our third friendly with this tactic. 
And this is one of the one of those two backs. Uh, the one I had originally looked at had three up top, but because we had uh, Rouye and, and McNally and a few other guys, uh, this was a tactic I thought might be a little better. Uh, so we've got this one as a 4-3-3 just because I wanted to try it a little bit. So when we look at the friendlies, this tactic was the first two matches. This tactic was the third match. The fourth and fifth match were this tactic. And it's an odd tactic. I, I don't usually play these asymmetrics, but uh, this was the fourth and fifth. And then the sixth friendly, we went back to this one. So taking a look, uh, I'm... I'm sorry, the the fourth, two, three, one, the two back set, and then this was the asymmetric. So the asymmetric is scoring a ton of goals, granted against the easiest opposition. Uh, the two back was a three nil, and the only loss, the only one game we got dominated in was against Crystal Palace. Uh, don't know, are they Premier League? No, they're championship. All right. But um, anyway, goals from Tom Hill and Lepetre Rouye. Uh, then goals from uh, Jose Rubio, Abrace, Abzalov, a couple of older names. Tom Hill, Dominic Schmidt. We'll talk about him in a minute. Kotorowski, Bach, McNally, and Katitis. Katitis uh, is a name that you probably haven't heard. Uh, he is 19. Uh, he was out on loan last year. We did pick him up on a free last year. And uh, so he is now in the fold. Not sure how much he is going to, um, where is he? Not sure how much he's going to play. Uh, he is a left back, but he's down the list a little bit. Uh, so he probably won't play a ton. Oh, I just saw a name on there I need to look at. Uh, look, can I go back to that, please? This one, Katitis Vogler. Vogler is pretty good. He can play. Okay, so he's going to be our starting right back. Never mind. I thought he was going to be uh, be the one out of the loop. So um, anyway, pretty happy. We'll be back for uh, the match here with Hamburger in just a minute, and we'll decide what tactic to go with and take a look at who our starting 11 are going to be and where some of these new players fit in. See you guys right back here. All right, so I'm going with the asymmetrical one today only because the 4-2-3-1, we did get beat by Crystal Palace, and that was an away game against a slightly better team, possibly better team. So... We are underdogs. We're on the road, so I want to kind of stay away from that. But we'll we'll work it in, and I do want to play some of that two back off uh, attack. I don't know how that's going to work, um, but it looks like it scores a lot, but also concedes a lot of goals. So not sure how I feel about that. We'll mix that in. Maybe when we're favored, we'll try it out in an actual uh, league match. So this is the one I think we're going to go with. Um, it's a, it's a modification of the four, two, three, one, um, very similar, a little more defensive though. That's what I kind of like about it. You can see we're not very familiar with it yet. Still working on it. Uh, if we take a look at all the other ones, kind of the same thing. It is early in the season. I mean, it's our first game. Uh, we did pick our team already. Oh, we did, but uh, Schmidt, I'm bringing Schmidt on for Stein. He's a little bit better in the air. Stein is probably the, the better, and him and Royce do have a good partnership. Stein's not going to be happy about that. You can see Urban is going to be up top. Uh, Kamara, the other, other uh, loanee, is going to be on the bench as our backup keeper. And, uh, of course, Leprete Rouye is going to move out to the wide. Uh, but he gives some goal-scoring ability as well. Uh, Urban has uh, decent finishing and really good long shot taking. And Schroeder, not the best finisher, but inverted winger on that side. So let's let's go see what happens. Hell, what's the worst that could happen? We lose a game? It's not like that would be the first time it happened. 
I'm still recording the camera uh, this morning. I don't know. I turned the two two of my four lights off, and I don't know. It looks a little more natural, so we're going to go with that. Uh, again, I'm recording all of these episodes today, so this is the second episode, I believe. No, third episode. We did two to end last season, and then this one I'm all recording back to back to, you know, after I got through the whole off season. We, uh, we let a lot of our staff go. Uh, our general manager left, so I've hired a new general manager. Uh, we Basically, you know, we've got our same assistant manager, uh, but basically we were trying to drop wage bills. Our, our head physio left. We hired a new one of those. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of crazy. You know, we were just trying to shave off as much as we could. <clears throat> you know, without giving up, that was that was the big thing. Did not want to give up, so they're playing a four-three-three, and we are in the red. And I think we're playing this pretty pretty heavy. Uh, get stuck in and everything else. Uh, Gallard, nice. Yeah, that was a poor clearance. Oh my goodness, three minutes in and Saros with the first goal of the season. Jimmy Blackstrom beat our defense. That was a poor clearance there. He had he had some guys out wide, but that probably was a poor decision. Kodorowski into the box. Oh, he went up for the header, but it looks like Dave may have committed a foul. And we are going to have a penalty. Is this Arturo? No, it's Hill. Slots at home. I still, I, 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 I do, I'm, I'm like Loki. I don't set my penalty takers. Uh, I let the team kind of hash that out on the pitch. Yeah, I'm not real happy about the. Uh, he's out of bounds there, Mister Official. Hello. Hello, he was out of bounds. Oh, come on. Oh, look at the deft touching right there by Hamburger. Oh, what a slide tackle to knock it out of play. That was brilliantly timed. Jimmy Dean sausage, boys. Woo! And a good save. All right. Drabond. We had a couple of teams uh, express an interest, but they were only offering uh, value, uh, like $155,000. Uh, see, look at that. The defensive touch, and it goes right to their keeper. I guarantee if we would have done that, it would have went right to their player. It just kick it into my guy's face and score a goal. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Schroeder. Oh, what a shot by Nico Schroeder, his debut goal. Oh, what a finish. Oh, that was brilliant. And he's the worst of our th four frontline players. But what ball movement to get it up into the into the box. Oh, liking that. Uh, come on. Got to do better than that. Jesus. Good save. All right, let me check this tactic again. I turned off the offsides trap. Um, we're playing standard. Do I maybe want to bump that a little bit? Maybe. We'll try it. Let's see, just see what happens. I mean, I'm happy. Oh, my God. Oh, I just set my nerves on edge. <laughs> Schroeder. All right, he's looking dangerous out on that wing. Oh, my God. He rings it around the woodwork and scores a debut brace. Oh, my goodness. Having a like that. What a finish. Okay, we hadn't changed our tactic there yet. All right, so now we're 
<laughs> 20 minutes in and we've we've got four goals in the game. Holy crap. Come on, boys. All right. There he is. I couldn't find him. Donghouse. Plays it all the way back to the keeper. Last time they did this, we scored. Uh, oh, good header. Good clearance. Somebody do something with the ball. Connect with a teammate. I just feel like they're setting us up here. Uh, look at the ball in. Can't bend it inside the post. We lucked out there. Probably should have been a goal. All right, Zach. Oh, wait a minute. Zach. Remember the Zach? From the Jack Reacher movie? Oh, my God. My four... Def my... <laughs> First off, my four defenders let one guy beat all four of them. And then one of the guys salvaged it with a great defensive effort right there. And it bounces right off the off of Dave, right in front of him. Oh, my God. Now, okay. I want to look at Zek. Yeah. yeah. Oh, La Pretre Brouille. We're just going to call him Rouille. What do y'all think? Debut goal. First goal of the season. Keeper went up for it. Mistimed it. And Rouille puts it into the back of the net. Four to two. So we get that advantage again. All right. Let's go to the dressing room. I want to check this tactic. All right, I want, I want you there, and then I want you to come into the game. Yeah, much better passing. Kotorowski's got, eh, he's not great. Let's see what Gilly has. Seven and seven. Five and seven. What was Zek? Well, actually, he's he is a better defender. You know what? Let's undo that and undo that. So he is a better defender, but he can't pass the ball. He can't pass the ball. Yeah, but I still let's let's give Gilly a half. I want to see. I want to see how. Well, golly. Yeah, I think he's he's a better defender than Kodorowski. Uh All right, let's do our pep talk. Tell the boys they're uh, uh, excellent. No yellow card, so that's positive. I'm going to give him some early praise to fire him up. We're playing on yeah, pretty much even footing here. They've got four clear-cut chances. All right, Urban. Oh, he plays it back out to Urban. Kodorowski, Roos, back to Vogler. Nice run by Schrader. Oh, was he taken down in the box? Is it a penalty? Ah, there could be a penalty there. And it is, and Schroeder's going to take the... Oh! <clears throat> I hate missed penalty kicks. That is so heartbreaking. So heartbreaking. Nobody's out there. Mataroni is on the run. Mattioni. Good ball. All right. Way to get it out of there. Way to get it out of there. All right. Uh, let's, uh, all right. Let's sub him off. So I believe... Actually, let me cancel this. Let's pause it. Go to tactics. All right, if he's the one I want to move, Absalov is actually the better one. So let's bring him on. Okay. 
good. All right, that was a horrible finish. Sorry about that. We uh, just had just had a bunch of noise pick up outside, and I did not know what the hell it was. Uh, looks like they're replacing windows. Oh my god! Oh my god! Get back in the goal, you idiot! What the hell was that? Whoa, that was horrible, Drabon. Why didn't you just kick it? No, don't just, oh my God. And then there was no urgency to get back to the goal. Oh, that's the biggest screw up I think I've ever seen a keeper make. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm just appalled. <laughs> I can't even believe that happened. I can't even believe that happened. Look at that. That's how you win the ball. That's how you get to the ball. All right, he sails it up into the stands. No, it was flicked by the keeper, evidently. I thought that went about 20 feet over his head. Oh, good save by Draban there. Uh, you need to step up and do something here, buddy. All right, that's a good ball. Oh, good ball over the top to Hill. He takes a touch. Get in there. All right. Uh, tactically, we are going to. We're going to condense defense here. Uh, we're going to take off, get stuck in. Keep tighter marking. We're going to go to some time wasting and a. Let's go to a much lower tempo. Just to see what that, you know. Slow it down. Be a little more careful with the ball. They're thinking he was off sides. Is that what we're... And he was. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on. That was a good clearance. Unfortunately, it went right to the wrong person. Getting a little bit of stuttering here. Trying to keep up with the action. It's fast-paced. Now, why, you know, like, why couldn't he sit on that ball for just a second? Control it. Good block. No! Oh, Jesus. Come on. Oh, he's off sides. It better be. Thank you. Oh, but that was a... Oh. Oh, my God. <sighs> Boy, they're putting the pressure on. Tighten up. Look at that, right to their team. What is the deal? All right, uh, tactically, defense. I'm going to tell them to get stuck in again. And let's pick the tempo up just a little bit. Okay, just boot it out. Good, good. All right, 21 shots, 13 on target. I'm, I'm liking that. Six chances created. I'm liking that. I mean, statistically, the game looks good. 
We just gave up a lot of goals, and some of those were some cheap-ass goals. All right, but we do start off with three points. Um, played well. Defense, I'm going to be a little cautious and go um, disappointed with your defensive efforts. Because I am. I, you know, they did not play well. There were some, especially him, that was a really stupid goal to concede. All right. Well, we're going to call that an episode because we had the transfer news. That always takes a little bit of time. So where do we come back here? Schroeder, nice. I think some of our guys look really good right out of the gate. Um, let's see if we take a look at that. So, I mean, Le Prete Rouye, he had a goal. Schroeder had two. Urban had a couple of good good ball movements in there. Hill scored, but had it called back for an offsides. The front, the, the attack looked really solid. The defense looked a little suspect. And I think that's going to be enough to bring Stein back in just for his veteran presence. Um, I mean, it's not like he's a bad back. Marking and tackling, he's really, really good. Uh, so... I think we need to bring him back in. But Schmidt, Schmidt's going to be a capable backup. And I've had him out on loan. I did want him to get some playing time this year. What I need to figure out, and, and this is a Korean, I think. This was a, a, a Korean uh, tactic submission uh, to FM Base is where I found this. Uh, it, it's the first non nap tactic that I've tried in a while uh, so we'll see we'll see I also want to try I really want to give this a go I'm scared about it though because I don't think let's see if we pick without restrictions I mean they're not horrible wing back players but you know we are very susceptible um, I wonder See, he can't pass as well. If we made these guys no nonsense, maybe. Maybe I'd feel more comfortable. If they got the ball just blasted out, maybe that would make me more comfortable with this setup. Uh, you know, then then we're not playing with the ball with just two people. I'll think about that. I'll think about that. Where do we come back? I do not know. Um, I think we're going to skip the Polkel. Let's come back for uh, Nunberg and Schimnitzer. Schimnitzer? Wiener Schnitzel? I don't know. Uh, let's come back for that at the end of August. That will give us uh, three games to play between now and then. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're if you're new or if you haven't and just forgot. Uh, at this point, if you haven't, you probably didn't forget. But you know, I'll, I'll keep asking nicely. And uh, hey, we'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye.